today it's a beautiful sunny morning and I'm on my way to work but I've got the trailer in tow as you can see back there because I've got a motor to pick up on my way home after work actually it's not on my way home it's just after work it's kind of out the direction that I work only a little farther so it makes sense to do it after work <clears throat> instead of a separate trip anyway so we'll see how that goes it looks like it might be decent I'm not sure um, and I had somebody else call me a few minutes ago on my drive and um, they were mentioning that they had another mower in a similar area so I may see if I can pick up that one and they said it already had some parts taken off of it so it may not really be worth getting I'm not sure I may call them back later but they also had a fifth wheel camper um, that had some damage from the hail and wind storm that we just had recently and maybe more than beyond that I don't know but it had some damage and they're just trying to get rid of it but I'm not really set up to take a fifth wheel in to repair it because I think it would just sit in my yard forever I've already got one fifth wheel I need to fix up to sell um, that and I don't really have a good truck for pulling a fifth wheel I think I'm going to have to pass on that as a 24 footer now I would like to get a smaller trailer for personal use for camping and stuff but probably not a fifth wheel so anyway, that was interesting. That's the first time I think I've had somebody offer me a fifth wheel or a camper like that. So anyway, that's it for now. Catch you guys when I go pick up the mower later. Well, so I'm on the first of the two pickups. I did go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one I mentioned this morning. It's after work and here I am. And there's the mower. I need to call them, make sure they know I'm here in a second. I don't know why. Maps had me um, taking this road, goes through the back side of the property. Maybe it was the old driveway. So anyway, there it is. Let's see if we can get this thing loaded up. Well, that was easy. I say easy, but they help push it on, so that's why it's easy. I really do need to get my winch worked out or get a, um, another um, set of tires to put on the front wheel of those machines. kind of exciting to me because that's just like the engine or very so much the engine in that Craftsman Zero turn I picked up last Monday so maybe a swap or plug and play which would be pretty cool to get two machines like that in the same week and have the parts interchange like that would be really nice so but now I've got one more mower to pick up which is at the place that had the fifth wheel and I need to let them know that I might be early because this went really smooth out here somewhere and give them a call. So far so good. All right. So here we are. The next place. I should probably message them now and say I think I'm here. Nice place out here in the country. It's nice and peaceful and not not overgrown. Old Ford pickup truck. They're good old trucks. Oh, it's a crew cab. Oh, it's a power stroke diesel. Is it four wheel drive? I'd actually like a truck like that. If it's four wheel drive. Ooh. Well, it's a little bit of a narrow yard. I'm gonna see if I can get the trailer turned around. Probably right here behind the truck over the gravel spot. We'll see if I can get this thing loaded up. Now, 
It's only 81 degrees, but I've been out moving stuff around a little bit now. So um, this mower is not as nice as the first mower, as far as the engine goes. I mean, the body and stuff looks pretty nice, really, for Toy Boat. That was interesting. So the, they have a fifth wheel there, and it looked pretty nasty because the um, the roof was out. It got damaged and it had a hole and it had been that way probably over winter so snow got in there. The carpet was moldy. I mean the rest of the fifth wheel around that hole didn't look that bad but man, I don't really know how you fix a hole like that and then you have to make sure it's structural and then re-roof it. And I'm always trying to avoid having to mess with stuff like that on my fifth wheel. You know, just cover it, try to keep it from leaking and don't do any more than that, you know. But I don't really have any time right now to mess with a fifth wheel like that. I don't have a way to move it. Um, I'd have to use uh, my dad's old farm truck. And it's a little bit of a drive for that, and it doesn't have trailer brakes. So may not be recommended. I'm gonna keep an eye on my mowers back there. I'll probably check them again before I get on the interstate. And we'll see how they ride. I got the wheels turning a little bit about that fifth wheel. I just don't think it'd work out. But I'm definitely excited about the first mower I picked up. I think I can use that engine and that zero turn I got last Monday. So. We'll see how it goes. Let's get home, get these put in our books, and um, let's get them unloaded. look at this mower so we'll see if we can get it sold. I it listed for $650. I'd like to get $500 for it um, since it's been for sale for like probably over a week now. I'd probably be willing to take $450. But we'll see. Um, the deck doesn't engage sometimes. It's And the idler is a little sticky and I did lube it up when I was mowing the yard with it so it worked fine. But you have to give the deck a, a shake and it engages. Other than that, it's a good mower, except it gives you a puff of smoke when you turn it off. So I think it's still strong. It'll run fine for quite a while. So we'll see. We shall see. It was really oily, but when I've been running it, it hasn't been smoking, even though the previous owner said it smoked. So I don't know if they just had it over full of oil or what, but it seems to run pretty decent. So we'll see how it goes. He decided he wanted the mower, um, but he didn't have the money with him, so he went to get it, and he's actually on his way back already. So he should be here in just a few minutes, and we'll capture him loading it up, and I'll help him, of course. But he didn't even try to talk me down. He's just had a bad experience with um, other mowers always being sold by the time he can get there, and um, people asking a lot for stuff that's not really good. Um, I mean, I've had this for sale for over a week, so I don't know. Everybody has a different experience when they're looking for stuff, I guess. But I had listed at 650. I really was hoping to get 500, and I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it to him for 500. He doesn't know that yet, though, so we'll see. But I just didn't want to take more than that since I know it has some issues. But he did not try to talk me down. Bought it, gave it to him for 500, and that's that. It's done and gone. I feel like I told him the issues. Um, oh wow, some friends just driving by had to honk, but yeah, so they're gone, and I'm happy. It's one more thing done and taken care of, and a little more money for the business. So we have officially recouped the investment on that lot because we bought six mowers. I don't have enough fingers. We bought six mowers. Um, for $250 and we just sold one of them for $500 and one of the other ones is that John Deere Zero Turn so I can't wait to get started on that one.